Earlier today, uh, there was a miscommunication between the state's attorney's office and the sheriff's office, uh, which created a uh, uh, scenario where the family was not allowed in the courtroom. After some negotiations with the sheriff's office, uh, we were able to get, uh, I think, eight family members in the courtroom. Uh, I then left because I was not one of the ones that was allowed in the courtroom. Uh, and so after not being allowed, I left and a delegation of the family left. We were asked, we were told that there would be 20 slots for the family uh, that would be made so that we would be able to be in the courtroom to support uh, Laquan McDonald, which is our relative, whose voice was taken away uh, at the hand of uh, Jason, Jason Van Dyke. So since he couldn't speak, we stood here so that he would have a voice and they could see and feel what he was like through us. Uh, however, uh, they let the eight people in and I left. Then I get a phone call after leaving the court that uh, they wanted me to come back. So I came back. Uh, we've waited upstairs for 30, 40 minutes. I don't know how long it's been, maybe an hour. And uh, the state's attorney uh, is still busy with whatever he's doing. Uh, and he was told to tell us to stay downstairs, but I'm now leaving and the uh, state's attorney will probably call me at some point. I'm not sure. Today, uh, for the family, uh, it, it is the, it, it feels like the end of a long journey in so many ways, but yet we know that we have a ways to go. Uh, we are in no way claiming uh, a victory in this, uh, for we are looking for justice and justice is what we're looking for and we know that that is a process and we want that process to do what it does uh, our family has never been through this before and so we're trying to uh, learn how we are supposed to act what is the proper protocol for being in the position that we're in right now